So why don't you just tell me your name and your position here at the dealership? Frank Spinelli, General Sales Manager here at GoGal Auto Sales. Uh, what is your daily strategy when a, when a new potential customer comes in? I don't know if it's considered a daily strategy, but uh, when a potential customer walks on the lot, we try to identify their wants and needs. Everybody has wants, everybody has needs. Uh, within that spectrum, we'll determine on what vehicle they feel more comfortable in, whether it be an SUV or a car. Uh, price point is another big thing for folks, and um, uh, gas mileage, another huge aspect of selling cars. So once that's determined, we can then narrow that search down to, a, let's say, a vicinity of four or five cars. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of questions do you, do you tend to ask them? Well, basically the questions that I would ask them would be, what's a car for? What are we using it for? Is it personal? Is it work? Uh, is it work-related? Is it just for daily driving? Is it for long-term driving? Is it, you know, are the trips long? Um, are there children involved, dogs involved? A lot of people have, you know, animals and pets and kids, and they have to transport them from soccer games and so on. Uh, so we try to identify questions like that. You know, what are they, what are their their important need to need to be in a car? Mm -hmm. What does customer satisfaction mean to you? Customer satisfaction means to me that how I would describe customer satisfaction is is understanding the customer. Don't talk don't talk at them. Uh, a lot of people don't have a wide understanding of cars and car sales. So they come in and they're putting their trust in you to some degree to sh show them the car at the right price that they can afford. In turn, what we do here is we make sure that all our customers feel as if they completely know about every vehicle that they're interested in, how it operates, and what's the price? Now, what made you choose to work for GoGale as opposed to a different dealership? The dealership itself is based on customer service. It has a reputation since 1962 of complete customer service. And I don't mean that in the, in the, the same vein that a larger scale place would mean. I mean it in the scale of it is no matter how many customers come on this lot, they treat it as if they're the only one. And what do you like most about your job? I like most about my job is, is actually satisfying and, and, and be able to give somebody something they need. It's, it's rewarding when you can give somebody the help and understanding and the right vehicle at the right price. Why should somebody buy here? Integrity. Uh, our cars are exactly what we say they are. We don't have... There's no bait and switch here. There's no, there's no hidden agenda. Uh, the car is the car. Whether it be good, bad, or indifferent, they would know that at the beginning. Um, oftentimes you hear that women are intimidated when it comes to yes. buying a car, coming on coming to onto a lot. Is, That's is there correct. anything different that you do, or uh, I don't. Again, we don't talk. We don't talk. We don't talk at people, uh, especially uh, women. Uh, women are, you know, inherently they are intimidated by car sales. Uh, car salesmen have a reputation of being less than honorable, uh, but we treat them as we would treat any other customer. Any human being walking on this lot will be treated exactly the same. Integrity, quality, and assurance that everything we say we will do. And what does it mean to you to be a sales professional? It means that I am entrusted by the general public to be honest, trustworthy, and forthcoming in anything that I do. And in car sales, or any sales profession, if you're not, you're in the wrong business. Mm -hmm. If the customer can't find exactly what they're looking for, um, what do you do in that circumstance? In situations like that, if we, if it's something that's not, if something in the, in the scope that we could find, we would certainly try and locate it for them. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that most times it does happen because it's sometimes the cars that they ask for it's a little hard to find. Uh, we would direct them to a location, be it a competitor or otherwise, that would have that car and we would certainly help them try and achieve that purchase by letting them know what they should and shouldn't pay for. When you reach the end of your work week, 
What is the most important thing that's happened to you during the course of that week? The most important thing I would say is not about the bottom line, because the bottom line is just that, the bottom line. I would say that towards the end of the work week, once we've established what we needed to do as far as customer service, retention of customer service, and providing a, a honest, clean product, and achieving that is the goal that we, we try to achieve every week. Okay, great. Right. Thank you very okay. much. All right. We'll see you on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I'll be there.